I think everyone, of course, is very focused on, you know, change in the U.S. administration. This is the number one thing on everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. What are all the changes that are about to happen? And there's going to be a lot of changes. You can see that. It's going to be, it's a whole new administration. This is what's great about our democratic system. The beauty of the system and the changes yeah. is that we know they're coming, but we're not really built for them at such a speed that would, I mean, that really is the issue here. This is coming like a rocket. Yeah, well, this is like the technology industry I'm used to it. So this is, yeah, yeah I mean, in, in my industry, you know, the only constant is change. Everything is changing all the time. And you have to have a beginner's mind uh, to the world and technology. And I think right now we have to have a beginner's mind when it comes to the political environment as well. So when you saw yesterday the announcement about the AI infrastructure, 500 billion, what do you make of that? I think it's the beginning of trillions. I, I think that you're just seeing the very beginning of what will be the one of the biggest investment levels in the history of the world because this is an opportunity for us to completely transform how we do everything. You're yeah. relishing this. And there are some, like, there are some like myself who are thinking, no, I am. slow down. Yeah, well, that's why we chose our respective careers. <laughs> well, <laughs> so how did you get into yeah. a pissing match with Microsoft over Copilot? Well, because, you know, we're the second largest software company in the world, and Microsoft is number one. And look, the reality is Microsoft has just disappointed everybody in what they've done with this Copilot, which is this repackaged chat GPT plugged into their apps and it doesn't really work there's no adoption but you don't you don't back off from a battle over it i mean for, from coming out and saying what you think no because i think customers have to understand the differentiation that they can use something like salesforce they can transform go and become an incredible ai first company and look that's what we do in our company every single day what will be the next thing for you to do uh, and the next thing for me is to make every company agent first this idea that we're going to create digital labor. That is, it's well, about humans and agents working together, just how, like it is now. How do you not displace the humans? Or if you have displaced the humans, you don't fail them. Into, we failed them in the Industrial Revolution. We failed them in the Internet Revolution. We failed them in the Fourth Industrial Revolution. We did not retrain. You agree? You are 100% right because we know that technology is marching forward. It's always getting lower cost and easier to use. And there are labor implications. And as we're talking about now, a new industry of digital labor, and that's what's really happening, new, you know, that humans with agents are working together here, not only at Davos, but in companies. Well, now what does that mean for the future? And what it means is, is that we have to do the things that are going to do right by humans as well. And you look at my own company, I've deployed now, in a, we call an agentic layer on our customer support teams. So we get 36,000 customer support issues every single week. If you asked me a month ago, 10,000 of those have to go to our 9,000 support agents. But by putting in an agentic layer, now only 5,000 are going to our support teams. And that gives me now the ability to rebalance and move those support agents into other roles inside the company. That's very exciting. As a CEO, in, in exactly that position, how aware are you and the priority you must give to the displacement of, of labor? Well, I think this idea that we have to be upskilling, reskilling, training, investing in education, and that's why you'll see at Salesforce, these are things that we're doing on an active basis and have done for decades because we believe Technology is going forward. No one's going to stop technology. So how are we going to work together to make the world better? How do we improve the state of the world? Would you like more media properties? You've got some. I'd rather not. I think one is enough for anyone. <laughs> you see, you're still committed to it. I, I look, I bought it because I love it. That's you know, great. Talk, you know, you can see we've had a, it's, it's a great magazine. Absolutely. Everyone knows it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, you know, we just um, have an incredible issue right now, person of the year, Donald Trump. You don't want TikTok. Well, I think that if we can abolish Section 230 and hold all these social media companies accountable for what they're doing, I think that would be a great thing for the world. Choose your color. I will choose blue. Excellent. You know, the, the next four years in one word. I'm just going to have to say digital labor.